Hello everyone, welcome to Rob John's Beer Reviews. I'm back again. This is a 16 ounce tool glass, put in the frost free freezer for 20 minutes. Today we're doing a 16 ounce can, also put that 16 ounce can, also in the frost free freezer, also for 20 minutes. This is, by the way, this is beer review number 333. Number 334 is still in the fridge. I'll do that when I have a chance. All right. Going to go back to what I was doing here, get my best shot. All right. Today we're doing original pattern, original pattern brewing from Milton, California. Whole lot of haze, hazy IPA. All right. 6.9 ABV alcohol volume, 50 IBUs for national beer units. Canned on date, 7.30.19. Hops are Mosaic, Amarillo, and Citra. Now, oh, by the way, that's why I did that already. Now let's flip out this baby open it and see what we got, right? Before we do that, I want to show you the can. Isn't that cool? Shaped like a cute little heart there. Isn't that cool? Very unique, I think. Now, let's open up this can and see what we got, alright? Open up the curtain here. It's a little dark in here, alright? It's a little better there. Let's pour this right into the glass. I think it's pretty hazy here. Might be another nice juice bomb. I'm starting to love these juice bombs here. It almost looks like grapefruit juice in here, but it's not. You know, it's, of course, it's an IPA. But it's very tempting, though. It looks like grapefruit juice, but don't quote me on it, all right? All right, won't be good at all into the glass here, but put the rest of it in the glass when I have more room, all right? About a finger ahead here. It's on filter means you cannot see through it there. Let's show the bubbles. Nice bubbles color that's looking for in a nice IPA, right? Now, I believe I said I mentioned the, this beer review number 333. I just trying to cover my ass so in case I forgot. I'm sure I didn't, but anyway. Let's go back to what we're doing here. Now let's uh, do the uh, before I do the first taste of the day here. Let's uh, let's do the aroma here first, shall we? I believe it smells some orange, and we'll go to tangerine. Now let's do the uh, tasting notes here, shall we? Lots and lots of mango, tons of guava. See how it's a smell, taste, taste here. Tons and tons of peaches, and maybe a slight hint of little berries in there. Different variety of berries, no particular kind of berries, just overall berries, all right? See how it's a taste here. I believe it tastes a slight hint of cracker malt. Uh, people have been asking me out there, I'm not really sure what it is, but you people can let me know what cracker malt is there, and uh, he uh, appreciate there. Let me know, all right. Now, do the first tasting here. Cheers, everyone, and enjoy. And salute. Not too bad. Pretty damn good. Double thumbs up. All right. Now, anything else going on here? Yes. Time is 2.28 p.m., 8.28, 2019, Wednesday, about mid-afternoon, all right? Now, anything else going on here? Yes, let's do the, uh, let's do the mouthfeels here, shall we? Medium body. About medium carbonation, I think here. No, just not, not too over carbonated. Just perfect. Just right. Now let's uh, taste what else I feels. See what I taste here. Else in my mouth feels here. By the way, it's gonna be a regular basis here, I think. Anyway, give my best shot.
A little bit of resinous in there, a little resiny. Not too much, just enough. And let's see how it tastes here. Or I should just feel here. A little bitterness, not too bad. It's got a little aftertaste. Uh, it's got heavy on the uh, tangerine and also on the, uh, the guava and uh, a hint of uh, a little bit of peaches there too. And uh, also some a little bit of mango there too, all right? Anyway, so pour this beer right into the glass here, the remaining of it that is. There we go. Nice and hazy here. There we go. Get last drops. It's hard to get last drops over can, over a bottle. Uh, I should say. Yes, yeah, right. That's right. Over can, over a bottle. All right. There we go. Perfect pour. So about a half a finger head remaining here. I should say a finger head here. Correct myself there. Show bubbles again here. Nice bubbles galore there. Uh, that one there, uh, it shows bitter bubbles on the second time around there. Sometimes it doesn't do it right away there, so it had to settle in the glass. So that's my uh, guess. All right. Now, so do the, uh, let's do a toast day here. I got a couple of people, important people to mention here. Toast to. Max Silverstein and his wife Marge, co-founder and owners of Original Pattern Brewing out in Oakland, California. Cheers, Max and Marge. Enjoy and salute and sip it. Max and Marge, I give you a double thumbs up. I got one more left toast and left me, I think, here. Toast to Andy Crocker, he's the master brewer of original pattern there out in Oakland, California. Andy, you make wonderful, hazy IPAs. Cheers, Andy, and enjoy. And Andy, sip it. Andy, I'll give you a double thumbs up. All right. Now, anything else going on here? Yes, let's do the... Uh, Let's do the rating here, shall we? What I say goes. All right. First, I got to taste it. All right. So it's got the ABV, alcohol volume, and the IBUs, and international bitter units, and the canned on date, 7-30-19. My honest opinion, I give this baby an A. It's my final decision, and A, and that's it. Right? Now, anything else going on here? Yes. I think I got one more thing left on me here, and I'll be calling it a wrap. If you want to purchase a nice single 16 ounce can, pick up a Total Wine Pleasant Hill. Or if you don't live in Pleasant Hill, you can go to any Total Wine close to your house there. Ask for, tell them that Rob Jones from Rob Jones Beer Review sent you from YouTube there, and they'll hook you up there. If they don't have it, they can special order it for you, all right? And by the way, this uh, 16 ounce can is going for $4.49. You're going to pick a four pack of these babies up here. $13.99, 16 ounce cans. Round it off, 14 bucks. Comes to about three fifty each. Great bargain self there or what? Anyway, great buy there. Anyway, they sell them very fast there at Pleasant Hill Total Wine, all right? I think they got maybe maybe two four packs left there, so you. Suggest you hurry up over there and rush there and before it gets all sold out there. They're like hotcakes, right? That's my suggestion, all right? Anyway, it's supposed to about time to hear a head out here. I don't really want to, but I have no choice. No magic words are in all my videos, specials, screw-ups, top 10 videos, beer mill samples, tongue-tied talking, tons and tons of mistakes when I'm doing my videos, and talking too fast. Time for Frosted Cola on double hands. Out. Don't get to sip it and sometimes chug it. Bye-bye. See the flip side there, and... That's it.